Hello, this is Mac the Great, and today I'm going to review Windows Movie Maker 2.1 for Windows XP. So let's just open it up now. And as you can see, you have a nice smart interface with loads of options to choose. For example, new project, open project, basically the default things you would have. Um, I'm gonna, later, I'm going to go on to all the other tools there is. So. Windows Movie Maker is all about editing films and video clips you created, so I'm just going to talk about that now. Now, down here you can see you have a timeline where you store all your video clips and anything else you have. You have a storyboard too, which is for like for users who have just started. It's much more easier, much more simple. Uh, I'll talk about that after too. So, what I'm going to do is import some media, for example, some pictures. So here I've, uh, it locates all your pictures and you just choose which one you want. <laughs> yeah, bush. And basically what you do is you click on your media, what you want to add, and you drag it to this part here called the timeline. You can obviously change the size and the length of the picture however much you want, just using the drag tool. And you can swap them around, say if we've got two here. You can swap it around and all that. It's really good. So you basically, you have complete control of your media. And basically, you can import your audio and music to add to the track. So I've just done this. And you drag it here to the audio and music part. So here it is. And basically, when you press play, it will start playing music. you can hear there and I think a really good thing about Windows Movie Maker is you can add titles and credits to start your movie for example I'm just going to do the title at the beginning basically here you type your text and it will appear here but I'm not sure if you can see it here but it will say like what you've written down and basically you can edit what you've written down by adding an animation for example like this, any others and you can edit the like change the text colour put loads of text here you can make it bold, italic change the transparency, even change the colour of it so it's really good at basically editing what you want to write even the paragraph bit so basically when you've done all that you can you click done here and it will add it and again you can extend it or whatever you want so that's really good what about it now I think it's what's really good about Windows Movie Maker is the fact that you can add effects and transitions so to add an effect or transition just drag your mouse here to the task pane and click on view video effects and as you can see I've downloaded loads but I think when you start you'll have about 10 effects that's basically what you'll have uh, so basically you just get a, an effect for example this one and you drag it to the clip you want so for example this one and then when you click play you can see the picture has changed and the effects been added or for example I've done dull and you can see it's grey basically it's just really good got loads of effects but ad again this is the one I've downloaded so I think there's a default one that you will have uh, let me see if I can find it here grayscale that just makes the whole picture grey so yeah the really effects are really good it's really good at changing your movie adding special effects and there's this other thing this other thing called transitions which is basically between two videos you can add a transition to make it like one video to another, I'll just show you now. So here there's view video transitions. And you have loads of transitions here, more more effects, like it's better than the effects, there's like loads more. So basically you just click on the effects, you can see, changes from one picture to another. So basically you just add it between two clips like this and you basically you will see a transition. 
so that's basically really good and again you can download extra transitions I downloaded all these from the FX archive if you just go on Google and type that out it might be there yeah it's really good and basically the storyboard is just an easier way of navigating for your media so here, here you can see there's a transition I've added you can swap them around and the little stars of the effect so you can view the effect so that's really good you can also narrate your timeline it's when you have a microphone and you just talk basically and you'll add the what you say here so that's really good <coughs> now um, basically you can you can add your own video and capture your video from your say your video camera here it's telling me I don't have one but when you have a video camera you should have a plug that plugs into your computer probably a USB device and it will tell you that like start capturing your video and that's really good so um, yeah so when, once you finish your movie once you've done all of it you can navigate your mouse here to save it it's got loads of options like save to your CD your in email to the web but I'm just going to stick to saving it to my computer so just click that save it to what you want I'm just going to name Pine test you can save it to where you want like your videos or whatever just browse so then click next and here it tells you what quality you want so here it's got all the types of quality you can have I, I'd recommend the high quality video because that's where your quality comes really good or if you want it not that good quality just go here to video for pocket PC but again you can choose which one you want I'm just gonna click here. now once you click next it will save it to your computer and once it's finished saving to your computer it will have a message saying you've completed it and if you want to view it but mine has already been saved so I'm not gonna view it so basically that's Windows Movie Maker it's a really good tool to editing for editing your movies and I recommend it because it is free so you might as well download it it's really good nice interface nice simple tasks it's a really good way to making professional movies so that's it thank you for watching please rate and subscribe